Hey guys and welcome back for another tutorial. Today is day 7 of the 12 days of Christmas tutorials and today I will be making this really cute Christmas stocking. Can you believe that I've never made a stocking on this channel? I'm really surprised. I made a mermaid one and a shark one but not just a regular stocking. So this pattern will be for free over at the blog which will be linked in the information icon as well as down below. You can go over there click on the link and you will find the PDF. It is in three different pages. So you print it out and then you just tape it all together and then you will have your stocking shape. So this is the fabric that I am using. It is just a woven plaid print. Um, it's a coating material, it's really nice. And then I will be using a flannel for the lining. I cut out two mirrored pieces for each so the out the outer layer is mirrored um, and so is the lining and then a little piece for the um, loop and then the piece for my trim which is just from a big piece of fur i just cut um, five or six inch strip so all the measurements for my stocking will be at the blog post as well so you can check that out for the specific measurements for all those items so the first thing I'm going to do is take the outer fabric, put them right sides together and sew all the way around except for the top. And then I will take the lining and put those also right sides together and I will also sew all the way around. But I am going to leave a five inch gap at some point within the lining. So you're gonna still keep the top open but you're gonna leave a hole probably in the back area and that will be used for turning. So once you have that sewn, um, you can snip the rounded edges depending on the fabric you have, um, just so that when you do turn it right sides out, it um, lays nice and flat, but might not be necessary for you know a softer fabric. So I'm going to make my loop and I'm going to take that piece and put it right sides together lengthways, and then I'll sew down the one side and then turn it inside out and that will be my loop piece. And then I'm going to uh, cut my fur. So I just took the top of the stocking and got that measurement and then I multiplied it by two and then I will cut a piece with that measurement by five or six inches wide depending on how thick of a trim you want. I'm going to now put those with the short sides together and the right sides together and I'll sew down the raw edge and then that will create a loop with my fur so that it's easier for me to insert that into my stocking. So now I'm going to take my outer fabric or my outer piece. I'm going to flip that with the right sides out and I'm not going to do that with the lining. I'm going to keep the lining inside out and I'm going to take the outer piece and I'm going to place that inside the lining. So make sure all your seams are lined up. And I forgot to um, film this, but I'm gonna show you shortly. Um, I did put the fur trim in between those layers. So make sure if you do have a fur that is directional, that the fur is um, going down towards the, um, the toe of your stocking. And then I just placed the loop piece um, fold it in half and then just tuck that in at the back seam between the lining and the fur. So now I'm going to sew around the edge of the stocking and I will take the little piece off my sewing machine so I can get it right over top of it. Um, makes things a lot easier. So all the way around and then we can flip it all right sides out and we will use the hole that we left in the lining. So I like to make it nice and big so that I can stick my hand in there. And because you know the fur is a little bit bulky, you want a good opening so that you can squeeze all that stuff through that hole. So I hope you're enjoying the 12 days of Christmas tutorials. If you're new to the game, I will have a playlist and I would definitely go back and check the first six tutorials 
and if you want to see the future ones then definitely stick around subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when I do post my um, next tutorials so I will have this going until December the 12th okay so now that I have that all right side out and it's all you know I finessed it and made it all perfect I'm just going to take the lining out again and I'm going to sew up that hole that we use for turning I'll just do a top stitch quickly and then I'll just slip that lining right back in and then that is good to go so if you want to do a pom-pom little tassel like I did um, I just took a piece of fabric or a piece of fur um, four inches wide it's just a like a a peanut butter lid I just cut that out and I'm gonna take a needle and thread and sew all the way around it and then I will put a little piece of um, polyester fiber fill in there or you can put some you know scrap fabric or something and then you're just gonna pull that thread um, cinch it all up and then you'll have your own little pom-poms so I made two that I um, I just attached it with some uh, ribbon and I just hung those on the back of the stocking and I thought it looked really really cute and I've seen um, I've seen them in stores like this so this looks like a very expensive stocking and it really isn't so I mean if you bought the stocking it'd probably be like 30 or 40 bucks for sure so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did please give me a thumbs up and if you do make any of my tutorials I would love it if you followed me on my Instagram and my Facebook which is linked below and you know share your projects I would love to see anything that you make so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys